I have come today to share with you what I do when I'm not mucking out duck pens and cutting tree branches and designing the tiny. And I'm having such a hard time because it's all I want to do. <laughs> this is an experiment. I am so, even though I did the gauge, the gauge is to find how many stitches do you need. If I had put on all the stitches that I had calculated I needed, <laughs> this is half. This is half of the stitches. And it is not to make uh, my dream sweater. This is sock yarn. And I couldn't wait. I found 100% wool yarn. And this week when I pick up my mail, it will be here. So I wanted to show you how I have occupied and and not been so impatient. Well, I was impatient. But this is going to be um, like a, a tank top. And I have, I'm guesstimating my yarn usage. It's all, it's like I'm just learning to knit. I've never knit a, a, a I've never knit a sweater or clothing for myself like I used to do for my dolls. <laughs> Except for my dolls, I didn't know how to knit in the round. It will have no seams <laughs> when I'm done. Uh, I am. Can you tell I'm a little excited? Oh, it feels so good. And this is 75% merino wool and 25% nylon. It's, they do that for the, um, it keeps its uh, stretch better, I think, is why they do it. Makes it stronger for sock yarn. It's not sweater yarn. <laughs> but oh my goodness, y'all, it is so soft. And I know it's gonna be wonderfully warm. And because it's knit, see, it's knit with a very loose, because that's my gauge. My gauge, my personal tension is I tend to knit loosely. So we'll see. Um, I'm not thinking it's going to fit, but I don't know how to. I'll show you the tool. Here's my tool. And see, so you place it down like this. Here. And then you're supposed to be able to count how many stitches. Well, when I did that, I came up with 360 stitches to fit around my belly. Because <laughs> that's the biggest part of me now. <gasps> we'll see. Are you excited? Because at this rate, it's going to be done really soon. Um, and you'll get to see it if it fits, as long as it fits on me. And I'm really hoping it fits on me. Um, if it doesn't, then um, somebody out there that can wear it, it'll be yours. <laughs> but anyway, um, here we go. So, good morning. It is day two of the Betty's Trying to Knit a Sweater. And design it. It's going to have a little stripe because I am playing yarn chicken. Yarn chicken <laughs> is when you're not quite sure if you're going to have enough yarn. This is what I got left. So I'm hoping there'll be enough. It's going to be a sweater with no sleeves, obviously. <laughs> I am wearing the sweater that has inspired this knitting. I bought this at a secondhand store about 10 years ago. It's 100% wool and it was a little 
it fit loose. And then last year, um, uh, it got bigger. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first is what you call blocking it because and, and wash it, lay it out, and that will help draw it up a little bit. I don't want to draw it up. I just want to draw it in. And so we'll see how that works. Meantime, this is practice. And see, I was looking for this weight. See, it's kind of it's very flowy. Um, well, you know, I've been trying to knit gauge, knit to a gauge. This is the gauge I was trying to match. And okay, I counted the stitches. I did the gauge swatch, I counted the stitches, I did the measurement I had. So I wound up, I was supposed to cast on, according to my calculations, 360 stitches. 360. And when I got to the halfway mark, I realized if I did 360 stitches, I think it might be a little big. <laughs> and I can't try it on without taking it off the needles. So I'm just kind of guessing and hoping. And this is the bottom, and then I'm knitting up, and this is the top, and I'm getting ready to shape up here because I want to knit this one from the top down because it's going to have sleeves. And see, see the pretty little, see you get this, now, this sweater was not knit that way. It was knit with seams. It's got seams. And see, where the, I don't want seams. Because I know how to knit and not have seams. <laughs> these are the needles I'm knitting on, my sweater. And these are the needles I knit my socks on. <laughs> there are 64 stitches for a pair of socks on these needles in my tension. And this is 180 stitches, which is a lot of stitches. <laughs> but it's not 360. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't do math. But I can knit a sweater. I'll see you tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. <laughs> it's still today. <laughs> and I wanted to, I wanted to explain a little knitting term you may not have ever heard of. It's called yarn chicken. <laughs> Am I gonna have enough to knit? the rest of this top out of this green. That's why I brought in the blue. Because <laughs> I'm a coward. <laughs> and here's my extra blue. I'm almost run out of this, this little piece. So, and I'm about ready to switch back to the green. So here we go. Hope I make it. <laughs>
discovered knitting isn't work. Knitting is what I do to avoid my work. <laughs> Moving right along. Soon, I'll be dividing for front, the, the, the top front and the, back. and the top back. This is the body. And so, I'll divide it here and then work it up and it'll be kind of like my top is. This is the top that Sarah sent me for Mother's Day. It's also the top where I discovered I am a size large in the front and a size medium in the back. So I always buy a large and it's too large, but I can fix it. I'm gonna put a little seam back there, then I'm gonna make a pattern out of it. And we'll see what happens next. Meantime, back to my knitting. I love y'all. <laughs> so, Betty, how's that sweater coming along? Well, it's Sunday. And the last time I spoke with you, I had finished this and said I was going to divide for the, the sleeves. I had done so. So, there's the top. And, ah! I am getting ready to cast off, and then I will knit the back, and it will need straps. And so I'm still, still playing chicken, <laughs> but I think we're going to do it. I think it'll be okay. <sighs> so that's today's update on Betty's knitting as well. <laughs> My stitching is not perfect. Reminds me of me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, same day. And what I did was the cast off. Which means I took all the stitches on the front off of the needles. So that has been done. Here's my armholes. And now I have to knit the bag. And I wanted to share with you that this is not the first time that I got to this point. <laughs> I had knit it so that there were decreases in the center and it didn't it did not do what I had hoped it would do. So I had knit this many rows. And I frogged it. We call it frogging because you rip it out. You rip it, rip it, rip it good. <laughs> All the way back. So, in, in doing that, um, I also um, changed what I was doing on the back. And so, I have, um, I ripped it out too. <laughs> I frogged it. And so I have to pick the back up and knit about this much. That's a combination of this many rows and this much fabric. And then I will have the little straps to make. So, walk, walk, walk. I'm still playing yarn chicken. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>
finished. I finished my little sweater. My sweater tank. And I have already blocked it. Wet it, laid it out flat to dry. I did it. It's funny. I almost did it double. <laughs> I can't believe I was going to put on 360 stitches. Uh, so, here she is.